Hey everyone, HHO for all here. I uh, just want to show you another advancement on this cell. Um, after my last video, I decided I was going to make a couple modifications to my fuel cell. And so what I did was I, um, I inserted a couple more neutrals. And so now what I've got is I've got a positive, then five neutrals, and then a negative, and then five more neutrals and a positive. So basically I've got two fuel cells in one because this would be the first cell and this would be the second cell. And because all of the exhaust that comes from the cell comes out through this exhaust port that I have drilled through the center of each cup, um, it creates a massive output. Um, also on these connectors here, I uh, don't know if you can make this out too well, but... Uh, I cut a whole bunch of uh, six inch length stainless steel wire and um, just bundled it all up together and used shrink wrap and uh, uh, heat shrink and, and just uh, shrunk it up and I'm going to put some connectors on the end there but um, it definitely helped with uh, keeping electrical runoff from happening. Um, I don't see any real bubbles that are coming from the outside of the cell. Everything's pretty much contained inside. And uh, that's the way I want it because I want to have everything inside the cell being forced through that exhaust hole in the center chamber. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pause this real quick and I'm going to drop this into, into the container and show you guys some output from it. So see it in just a minute. Okay, everybody, check this out. <laughs> yeah baby those are bubbles big time bubbles so as you can see stack neutral plates I guess they work it's working pretty good proof is in the pudding HHO for all and I'm out of here later